Good afternoon. This is Next Stop Search City. What's up, guys? It's your girl, Nita. And welcome back to the Food We Love podcast. Can you believe, Nita, this is episode three? I cannot believe it. It feels like we just started this yesterday. Yes. We almost literally did. It's only been a couple weeks. <laughs> I mean, we technically, no, technically it's week three. Get it right. It's week three. But we have been planning this for a little while now. So it's, we've been, yeah, it's been a little while. It's been a little. And if you guys knew what happened earlier today, you would understand the level of highness we are on right now. Y'all just don't understand what's going on right now. But y'all have to follow and subscribe on YouTube. You almost be chefing to understand what is happening. Yes. And definitely more to come. A lot more to come. So if you want to know ahead of time, if you check my stories, um, for the just for the viewers that's watching the podcast, me and me and me and um Nita, we are live on uh, IG for the moment. Um, if you are watching or you want to, you can go to my stories. You can go to Nita dot food photo. You can go to her stories and her page. You'll see what we're talking about, uh-huh. but we're not going to say anything on this episode. It's nope. Crazy. But all I want to say is shout out to the people that support. Most definitely. Um, it's it's hard out here in these streets to do something on your own. Um, and when you find people, family, friends, and strangers that you've never met in real life <laughs> that want to come and, and to support you, yo, always, always to say thank you to them people. If I have a message, a message, I'm just going to say, don't doubt yourself. Yep. Don't do it because if you oh. doubt yourself, you might be missing out on the opportunity. Yeah, like real rap, we started this off of a whim. Um, I know we said this before. Um, I went to Shanita. I said I'll be cooking. She said she'd be doing photography. I'll be taking pictures. Pictures. I said we need to be doing food and taking pictures together. <laughs> started this what almost we the idea came together about a year, like literally about a year ago. No, oh well, no. We, we started around this time thinking about it. We started yeah. the first unofficial shoot was July of last year. No, started, the, no, 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 no. The unofficial was June of last year. The official was July. So it's been about a year since we've been coming up with this. It's a. It's been about okay, okay. And yeah, so we started shoot. We started shooting our um food content, like recipes and stuff, like six months ago. No, less than six months ago. When is June? Wait, hold on. April. No, <laughs> April. <laughs> eight May, months ago. June. Eight months ago. <laughs> Four more. Okay, yeah, okay. But we went out on a whim. We took a chance. My aunt is in the chat right now. What up? Hello. Hey, mom. <laughs> Hi, oh, Valerie. Mommy. Hi. And, and just to get in, we could do this early. Just talking about support, uh, we like to give back. We like to support. We want to shout out Him Her Deals. They have amazing products. Um, they specialize in more than what we're going to talk about today, but they do a lot. They have food products. Um, right here, I'll show the uh, chat. Is the Muscadine barbecue sauce I like to use. Um, I can't get it focused because my camera won't focus. I'll show you guys here. Muscadine barbecue sauce. Um, they have other sauces, other food products, jellies, hot sauces, and things of that nature. Um, I believe apple this ciders. apple ciders. Um, I believe this weekend they will be at Cherry Hill Mall that in was New Jersey. Past, that was this past weekend. This past weekend they were at Cherry Hill Mall. <laughs> Kesham, March eighteenth and nineteenth in Delaware in the Claymont area. Brandywine Hotel. All right, we'll have more information on that. But if you wanted to ever reach out to them, um, the food product line they have is Alvise by Him Her Deals. If you wanted to reach out, you can reach them at himherdeals at gmail.com. Um, oh, wait, she's saying, okay, never mind, go ahead. Um, if you are, again, wanting to reach out to Alvise, uh, you can reach them at Him Her Deals. That is H I M as in Mary, H E R D E A L S at gmail.com. Him, her deals. Um, we just got word. <laughs> <laughs> 
in the chat oh. that they will be at Willow Grove Mall in PA um, this Saturday. So definitely go check them out. Again, they have tons of products, uh, food products, and uh, uh, their sweet pepper relish. <laughs> That's it. That's all she wrote. I need more. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Because I'm you, a big... But you all out? You're all out? After Saturday, I put it on everybody's uh, sandwiches. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. So we, we had a uh, shoot this weekend. Uh, for those who don't know, we had a, a shoot for April. Our April. Um, part of our April. Uh, Stay content. tuned to that, man. That's coming. It was amazing. Beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful you know. photos. I feed my people who come to my crib and we made a nice little spread. And that was one of the things um, that we used was the sweet pepper relish on their tuna club. Y'all don't y'all missing out. Um, but again, him, her deals, H I M is in Mary, H E R D E A L S at gmail.com website coming soon. And they will be at Willow Grove mall, Pennsylvania uh, area uh, this Saturday. This Saturday. All right, so let's get into the pod. But before we do that, uh, Nita, what are you over there sipping on today? I am sipping on because I am getting ready to hit the gym. So I went grocery shopping. So I got me some light orange juice. I think it's only like 50 calories. So I am sipping on some light orange juice with vodka. So I guess you will call that a light screwdriver. And what about you? Uh, well, look, I'm I'm sipping on um, Los Cabos tequila, um, tequila that was left over from our shoot. I'm not going to lie. I, so tequila is probably my favorite drink of choice. I like it too. Straight I'm with you. This with a lime. For what it is, it's not bad. I like it. It's smooth. I wish I had some lime. It's not bad. I like it. Got me feeling all tingling inside. All right, so for those of y'all who don't know, if you're just tuning into this podcast, again, thank you. Welcome. Uh, this food, the food we love, the food we watch podcast. Get it podcast, right. Is a podcast. I've been drinking. It is a podcast where we review food shows. All right. And right now, the food show we are reviewing uh, for the moment is Next Level Chef Season 2. Tune in tomorrow for the full episode at 12 o'clock yes. on YouTube. Link on in YouTube, the bio. Every Tuesdays, like clockwork. Um, so just a quick review from last week. Um, last week, um, it, was a, it, was, it was a little chaotic a little bit. Um, but unfortunately, um, the person we had to send home last week was Chef Alex. Um yeah, it was it was a struggle for him all episode. Um, Teeny Teeny was the one who over, overall won the competition. Sent Cassie and Alex into the elimination round. They had to cook a pork chop with corn. Corn hot being a highlighted uh, part of the dish. And um, yeah, South Chef Alex sir, sir came to to the challenge. Um, shout out to him. Hopefully, we can get him on a pod one day. But um, yeah. That's where we're. That's where we left off at, and now we're on episode three. And Nita, what was what was what was, what was the dish of choice for for episode three? No, we got to get into what happened before we. Get no, we're we're the... going to get into it, but just what was what, what did they have to do? Oh, got you. The theme. Thank you. They had to make sandwiches. Sandwiches, y'all. Now, if y'all seen last episode. <laughs> We've been saying it. The judges said it. Sandwiches sounds easy until you actually have to make a sandwich on TV. I mean, they had to, no, it wasn't just sandwiches, though. They had to elevate the sandwiches. Yeah. So, yeah, that sounds easy enough, but elevating a sandwich? Mm, yeah. Yeah, you're right. But, um, yeah, it, like I said, it sounded easy. And it was a lot of stuff going on. So what we're going to do is get into the drama, the drama, drama, drama. There was start. some, there was some drama. Who wants to start? You know what? 
I don't want to be cut off like last week. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I feel like I will let you go. Did I cut you off last week? I'm sorry. Oh, that I was didn't... actually was the first episode. Oh, Remember I'm sorry. You no, it was funny. Okay. <laughs> but no, I'm going to let you go. You can go. You can go. Well, I'm going to just say this. This is not really drama, but Team Ramsey is like the only one who had all of his team members. So yeah. that's number one. Um, number two, Chris, he had a whole lot of confidence this week. A whole lot of confidence. I think he, I think he should have. I didn't say, I didn't say it was a bad thing. I'm just saying, but he had a whole lot of, he had a whole, like he came in with like a game plan. He was like, I'm going to take this. Like this week is mine. Yeah. Is what he said. Yeah. He went in. He did his thing this week. I'm not gonna lie. He did. I would have ate it. Um. He did the. Uh, he did the po boy. Yeah, he did the po boy. He went yeah. in. He definitely did his thing. I am definitely a fan of po boys. I do like them. I like them a lot. I don't know. I don't a think I've ever had one. Oh, we gotta talk. Oh, we gotta talk. <laughs> I have a spot for you. Seriously, I have I a spot for you. I don't think I've ever had a po' boy. I have a spot for you, but we got to talk about that later. Um, Our gotcha. good friend, our good friend, Daryl. Mm. He forgot the bread. Well, well let's be fair. He wasn't the only one who forgot the bread. He wasn't, and we, and we, mm, yes, he was There wasn't. was two people, and that's what I had down. There was two, this is. But I didn't get, this I didn't get that yet. I know. That's, I feel I'm, like. I'm just saying, this is a sandwich competition, and two people did not grab bread. But here's the thing. Okay, under, understand, it is hectic, understand. But I feel like if you're going to do a sandwich competition, the first thing you need to grab is the bread. Then work your way down. No. Yeah. And 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 were they on the top? No, no, no. They were on the middle level, yeah, right? Yeah, Daryl, Daryl was on the top. He was on the top? Well, even more so. Mm -hmm. You had all the ingredients that you mm -hmm. need to have. Okay, well, Daryl's um, Daryl is, is uh, Chef Blaze team, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. He was top. Dag on it. Cassie yeah. was 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 middle. Yeah. So. Okay. Well, right listen, at the bottom. Listen. Yeah. First thing you should have grabbed was bread. Yeah. Okay. Um, what is your any any other drama that you want to say? Because I I got a whole list and I don't want to like take up everything. So well, look, I talked about this man probably the last two two episodes, the first two episodes of our podcast, because he does good work. I'm rooting for Ariel. Eural, New Jersey. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. Ooh. So, guys, this is a part of, of we already know. If you watch the, if you watch uh, Next Level Chef. If you live in New there. Jersey, please tell us the correct name of this location. Please. But if you watch Next Level Chef, you know that when it's time to submit your dish, you have a certain amount of time before the platform starts to rise. Oh, you Matt, went way down there. Oh, wow. Matt, Matt put together what the judges said was probably one of the tastiest sandwiches. Um, I believe he did a cheesesteak. This is why I brought it up because we're in Philly. It wasn't, was it a cheesesteak? He did a cheesesteak with blue cheese and uh, with blue cheese, uh, pickled artichokes and aioli. So it was like a cheesesteak, but it was on like a, a brioche bun. And they said it was probably one of the most tastiest dishes of the competition. 
But what mm. happened is when he tried to put it on the platform, the platform starts to rise and he realized a part of his uh, apron is still hooked, which jerked his scent, his plate and all his stuff just spread all over the place. It just turned into a whole cheesesteak. Yeah. Mess. Can I just yeah. say this? I, I I had that listed as number 16 on my list. Wait, hold on. There's a lot of stuff that you want to talk about. There is. 16? Um, that was labeled 16 on We're my gonna list. we for a while. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm Omi, her cheese. She said that there wasn't any cheese left on the platform. And of course, good to our good editing team over at Next Level Chef, definitely pointed to the cheese. <laughs> there was definitely cheese still they left like, on the platform. Congratulations, you played yourself. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, that was another one. Um, Vinny, firefighter. Mm. The firefighter definitely went ablaze on his on his fish. I don't know. Oh my God. Somebody really? should have called nine one one. No, no, he burnt it. He burnt it, but it wasn't like he it, he, he didn't cause it, a fire. But he burnt his fish. But he didn't cause a fire. He needed a fire extinguisher for his fish. I'm gonna say this: a lot of firefighters they typically know how to cook because they do like twelve hour shifts. So a lot of, and they have a whole full fledged kitchen. And he's a firefighter cook. He is a firefighter cook. What? Okay, whatever. He's one of your favorites. He had no. Nah, he he is it. Chef Ramsey. Was I didn't say he didn't. I didn't say he didn't burn he it, but but he food. didn't set it ablaze like Mark did on on episode one. But Mark was able to come and put together a better dish then but don't say he set it ablaze he did not set it ablaze did he burn it anyway um another thing cassie was another one who forgot oh, the bread. Man. she was all this is the second week though this this is my thing this i know the second week, though. all right cassie you from yeah. this area i'm yeah. trying to root for you you were yeah, not I one got I'm some, trying to root for i got some things to say about her later so she decided to make a Lettuce open face sandwich. Yeah, she did the um pork loin open face. Yes. Pork tenderloin open face sandwich. Yes. And speaking of, because they forgot their bread, they attempted, Daryl, to make homemade bread. Because he forgot to grab his bread. They didn't or, really like that homemade bread, though, I don't think. Well, did it look appetizing to you? Not really. All but right. in, in, in his defense, at least he tried. Cassie, at least he tried. Cassie tried. She was. She made this crisp thing that was well, supposed gonna, to go on her dish, and she we're forgot. Gonna, we're going to get into that later. I'm just saying. Um, we're going to get into that later. Another one. Um, April just looked so frazzled. Again, like she looked like deer. In headlights. Yeah, didn't the chef was like, she was like, what do you have? She's like, I have pork. Chef was like, are you sure you have pork? <laughs> she was like, are you sure? Yeah, I, I got, oh, wait, no, I don't have pork. It wasn't pork. What did she have again? Was it deer or no, she had lamb. Lamb, yeah. And exactly. unless, you know, to, tack, to tackle back to Benny. I was nervous for him because his fish was overcooked. Burnt. Um, but didn't Cassie also burn her cheese? Did she? Something was burnt. Or was it her um special No, she had a crisp that was good, but forgot to put it on the plate. Well, that was yeah, that was number 15 for me. Um, Daryl just looks so nervous. Um, Pilar forgot to place her pickle on her dish. That joint dropped. That joint dropped right on the floor. She was like, Ugh. 
fast. She did the mark. Wait, no, did it drop? Yeah, I thought, yeah. I thought she forgot it. If, if, no, it fell. She tried to put it up, and she forgot. No, she but she forgot. Yeah, that's what happened. She went over to the thing, and it just it. it, it but it, at the end of the day, had, she forgot. Yeah, like a piece of pickle. But at the end of the day, went, she forgot. She at went, the end of the day, she she dropped it because she forgot. Yeah, yeah. That you would think again. It's a sandwich. I know you have to elevate it, but it's like wow. Like they really. A lot of people struggled on this challenge. So, so that was my last statement. So, at the end of the day, everyone on each team had their moment where they were like, "Oh crap!" Yeah. Like, "Oh crap!" Like they each had somebody on their team that they were worried about. Yeah. At the end of the day. Look, man, don't underestimate the power of sandwiches. Yes. <laughs> As we Pretty saw much. in this episode. It, you 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 think you got it? Oh yeah, cool sandwich, whatever. Yeah, okay. Mm-mm. Then then you realize that you ain't grab no bread. <laughs> then you gotta figure out how do you make a sandwich with no bread? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Which, uh... but no, it was. They did their best. Mm-hmm. But, All um, right. Real quick, before we get into the other questions, um, I do want to get into what each. Uh, chef cooked real quick just a breakdown again uh matt he was on top so matt he cooked the cheese steak it was on like a brioche bun blue cheese pickled uh artichoke and aioli teeny cooked a lobster roll with potato and dill pepper salad um we had marine who had the hot fried turkey sandwich with the egg sunny side up you had Chris with that crispy shrimp po' boy and toasted baguette. Daryl with a surf and turf open face sandwich with homemade bread. Uh, Tucker, she had the steak, uh, pickled onions and truffle aioli. Uh, Michelle had the ham steak with artichoke puree, pu- puree. Cassie, again, had the pork tenderloin open face sandwich. Mark has been quiet the last couple of weeks. Dick slide in with the seasoned blackened catfish and pickled coleslaw. Uh, we had Vinny. Again, he had the breaded burnt ham haddock fish with the burnt pickled cabbage. Preston came through with the marinated strip steak and aioli. Uh, we have April, uh, who uh, took her lamb and created a pickled bird's eye chili, uh, but left a fully fledged hot pickled chili pepper that they were not going to eat. So it was in like a sloppy joe form. Nuri, my man Nuri, soft shell crab sandwich with pickled red peppers and cucumber. Omi with the meat pork, meat the pork meatball sandwich. Pilar with the BLT, but she used uh, albacore tuna on a ciabatta bread and tarragon aioli. And last but not least, Shay with the pork belly cooked in co- coconut cu- uh, curry. With prosciutto, and he had a spread of mushroom, mushrooms and duck shell uh, pickled something. So, yeah, that's what everybody cooked this week. They went ham, some went home, some burnt shit. But what, what, are, we going, what are we going to get into next? What are we going to get into next? Favorite dish. Favorite dish. Favorite dish. I'm ready for this one. <laughs> My favorite dish. I had three. I have three. You know what? I had about three, too. Well, let's see if we line up. Okay. My first favorite dish is my man from Maryland, Nori. He was one of mine. Look, I will say he was one of mine. Y'all going to learn I love some crabs. <laughs> So he came in with the soft shell crab sandwich with the pickled red peppers and cucumbers. And the it, I wanted to taste that so bad. Mm. We have Nuri. Um, my other favorite one would be Chris. When he did he that was, shrimp, the shrimp po' boy. The po' boy, yeah, he was mine. He was Even mine. Though I never I had, had a po' down. boy. This po' boy. This po' boy wanted a po' boy. Um, and then my last one was uh, Maureen. Um, she did that hot fried turkey thing with the egg sunny side up, and it just looks so, and it looked like it tastes so banging. I actually, you know what? I just lied. I have about five. That John crazy. Everybody you mentioned, I had down, but I had two more. 
Mm-hmm. I had Pilar dish. She had that tuna. Mm-hmm. I think she did a play on like a BLT. Yeah. And they were good. Yeah, it was an albacore, which was tuna. Oh, uh, that looked good. Oh, that looked good. And I'm, I, mm-hmm. yeah, you're right. I, I also had Preston. Preston? I did. The, I, I don't know. I don't know about Preston. He didn't. He didn't. No. For me, no. no. It seems like he does the same thing every week. Well, even, four, even with the sandwich, it's four just, out of five ain't bad. Yeah, he was. He was. I guess, but okay. Not for well, me. well. What about that um, bad dish? And I only have one. I got three. Well, let me go first on this one. Go ahead. You take it away. April. He's one of mine. She had full blown hot peppers mm-hmm. on her dish. And Gordon Ramsay, I believe it was him. He was like, if somebody what the, ate. What the bloody hell? If somebody <laughs> bit into that, I'm not going to eat this. <laughs> you would have set somebody ablaze. Yeah, he was not having it. How do you have. It, it even looked cooked. How do you have that in your dish? And you didn't just have one. But you had two, like yeah. For, if y'all didn't know that, so they had to take a certain vegetable and something and, oh, yeah, and pickle yeah, yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. had to create a pickle. She chose to pickle a uh, 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 chili pepper, like full, like <laughs> <laughs> like with seeds and all inside. Gordon was like, "No, <laughs> we not. I'm not eating that." But even like it didn't look. App- it looked like. Look, I'm not trying to be mean on this show. I don't want people. It, it, it looked bad. It looked bad. It looked bad. like dog food on a bun. It looked bad. Yeah, it was not appealing. I'm sorry, April. It was it just it just wasn't it. Um, and again, I had two. So, Vinny, because of the burnt fish. Burnt fish. <laughs> <laughs> and the. It, it wasn't good. They said it tasted like the oil he cooked it in. Can you imagine biting into something and it tastes like no. cooked oil? No. It don't taste like what you about to eat. It tastes like cooked oil. Mm. I'm sorry. That wasn't it. Mm. And my my second one, my third one was was Cassie. They didn't like they did it was it was okay, but I didn't like what she did. And the fact that she left is all right. Not only did she leave bread off, but she left the centerpiece of her her dish, which mm-hmm. was the crisp. That even Ramsey was like, "This is the most important part of your dish that you didn't have bread and you didn't have it on there." So those three to me, Cassie, April, and Vinny, just didn't bring it today or mm-hmm. yesterday, I should say. Uh huh. But um, aside from the worst dish, uh, and you know what, you guys in the chat, if you're watching this in the comments below, let us know what your favorite dish is and let us know what your worst dish is. Or let us know if you feel like we were, if we, we, if we were missing somebody. You can always do that if you're watching this. Just go down in the chat and just let us know how you feel. Um, but what we're going to do now, we're just going to review, since we went through the worst dishes, let's see if we can save some of these chefs and see if they had at least some good plating going on. Uh, Nina, well, what, what to you? Do you have any? I only have two. Good plating? Good plating? I only have two. Okay. Let's see if we, because I have three. I have okay. three with good plating. So let's see if we line up. What, what are your two? Nuri. Mm. And Chris. Mm. My favorite plating of this week. Hands down. Wow. Hands down. So I guess you have three different people, like three different people. That's what one of like. I have I have one. Hold on, let me guess. Let me guess. No, 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 no,
I did not choose oh, no. Nori. Oh, no. I'm, I'm I felt like it was good. I felt like it was good. Mm-hmm. But there were other dishes that plating wise was crazy. Okay. Chris, Chris is okay. my was my was first he, one. Big room, Chris. Okay. His po' boy was definitely the plating on that was definitely fantastic. Mm-hmm. And again, Marine, Marine with the plating and like the egg. Like it was just like, yo, this is next level. This was dope. Um, I like, and again, Marine is starting to stick out. She's like the underdog here because they keep they give her high regard, but she just she never really wins. Like they don't. I would definitely agree on that. Marine is yeah, definitely I don't know. the she, underdog. She, she, she needs. She's one of the ones you gotta watch out. For. You gotta watch her because she going she going later in those competitions. She's gonna do something. Mm-hmm. And then my. Something. My third best plating was, uh, is it Teeny? Is that how you say her name? Tiny? Mm-hmm. Teeny. Teeny. Teeny Tiny. Teeny no. Tiny. Teeny. No, it's Teeny. <laughs> no, no, it's Teeny. <clears throat> teeny Tiny came in third on mine. Teeny, no, no, mm-hmm. it's, no. I like that lobster. It was no, like a, on a lobster roll. Search is Teeny. Just call her Teeny. That teeny tiny and her lobster roll, I really enjoyed. Um, the plating it looked good. I thought if, she was gonna win. Come after him. Clean. Go after him, teeny. I think I thought it was gonna be between her and Chris for the for the win. Um, realistically, I ain't gonna hold you this week. But we'll we're gonna get into that. I, I but in my we're opinion, definitely we're definitely good. gonna get into that. But we're um, definitely gonna get into that. As we say on this podcast, and you should know by now, good things, things come, come and good, good things, things go. go. So, so Nita, in your opinion, who had the worst plating I for got this three. challenge? I got three. You got three? I got two. I got two in the possible. Um, Matt was one of them, only because his dish dropped on a platform. Cassie and Daryl. <laughs> I have two out of the three you have. <laughs> wait, wait, you got two more? No, I just have two. Oh, okay. I agree with two of the ones you have. I only okay. go down two. Gotcha. Um me personally, Matt overall had the worst plating. That's because he dropped it. And though. the worst luck. <laughs> yeah, it just, he dropped it. It was, all, it was a complete shambles after that. I felt so bad. I was like, I oh. did. I'm like, yo, and they literally said it. They keep, it keeps running in my mind. I'm so d- disappointed because you probably have one of the best tasting dishes. So he <sighs> probably would have won this competition this week if it wasn't for him getting caught on that. Uh, look, y'all, y'all go on these shows. Y'all gotta understand. Y'all got to pay attention to time. When that thing starts to raise, that's it. It's a wrap. That's it. So can't be over there. <laughs> you can't be trying to throw stuff up on there because it'll mess up everything you worked hard to do. <laughs> that sucks. And yeah, and just Cassie is she. Mm, I didn't put Daryl on here. Worst plating his plating wasn't really that bad. Um, I just I Cassie just she forgot two things. And no so bread. did Daryl. No, and so did Daryl. No, Daryl left bread off, but he made bread. Yeah, but it wasn't good. But he still made bread. But his plating was not What's good. What's the sandwich? What's but the his, sandwich? No, but his plating, his plating was not wasn't good. bad to me. It was, it was, okay. We, we just going to have to, we're just going to have to disagree no, on this. No, no, you're going to agree with me. No, I'm not. <laughs> like, his plating was horrible. But I'm going to get it. Here's the thing. Here's the thing, Search. I expect more from Daryl, because he's a professional chef. So, no. His plating was bad. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> Look, I'm not here to argue with you. If but you are. <laughs> every, <laughs> everybody's entitled to their opinion. Mine's a fact. His plating I was, was just bad. Like, I didn't mind his plating. I just felt like Cassie's was... It was like some stuff thrown around some lettuce. And then... 
her main thing wasn't even on there. Two main things wasn't on there. So I was just like, this is this is not this is not it. And again, Cassie, you're in the Jersey area. We we don't want you to not do good. We want you to do good, but in order for us to root for you, you have to yeah, y'all gotta bring it, man. That's what it boils down to. But at the end of the day, at the end of the competition, who was the winner? Okay, so the overall winner was Nori. Nori. And I My can man. agree. Wait, and I can agree, and I'm gonna just say this: Chris looked very salty because you couldn't you couldn't tell Chris nothing. He was like that. He was like, "I'm gonna win this challenge this week." He did week. say that, but he, he did. did. He did. But Nori said, "No." I'm a win, and he surely did win. I, and you can tell that Nuri is definitely one of Chef Arrington's favorite. You can tell. Look, shout out to Nuri. As you already know, I have him picked. I did an early, early prediction. He did. I have him picked to win it all. Oh, wait, every real quick. week. Real quick. I'm sorry. Real quick. Real quick. Real quick. Real quick. He dedicated this dish to his daughter, who is also named Nori. Great. So you, I couldn't just say what I had to say, and then you say. Well, anyway, there. see how when you try to play praise a black man in America, you see how they try to cut you short. Shout out to Nori. Gosh, every what do you week, mean, cut you. What do you mean? Every week, he has been getting better and better and better, and he is winning. Winning, winning. I cannot wait to have you on this podcast. You are my favorite chef. Please come on. We would love, we would love to have you, Nori. Black man. And as Nita stated, you dedicated this to your daughter and a black woman. (laughs) Um, So that was dope. Um, But yeah, overall winner was Nori. Do you agree? You said you do. I did. Mm -hmm. He deserves it. I agree. I agree because I root for Nori, but who I thought they were going to pick was uh Chris. I thought Chris had it. I thought he was because they was like really ranting and raving about his po' boy. Um, I was shocked when Nori did win. I'm glad he pulled it out, but I was shocked. I will say that he. I agree, but I was shocked. You know what that's called? Good editing. Yeah. Good editing. Yeah, they kind of played Chris though, because they didn't have to put that in. <laughs> they kind of played him though. Oh, uh, look. look, shout out the next level chef. I, I bang with y'all. Editing y'all played, team, editing y'all, team. Y'all played my man Chris. Y'all mean <laughs> editing team? Whoever's on them cameras, whoever, who's like, ever, dude, whoever, dude like, I totally doing the editing. Like mm, for sure, I to- I I got this in the bag. Yeah, this is mine for sure. And then it was like Nori. He was like, "What?" <laughs> they play him, uh, but nah, yeah, that was that was it was a good episode. But at the end, there were two people who could, who did not, uh, did not make it. They had to be put into elimination. Um, now, before no, 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 before I say this disclaimer. I know I've been hard on this man, but I don't want him to lose. I just want him to do better. <laughs> I root for this man, <laughs> but he makes it hard to root for him. I can agree. The two losers were Benny and Daryl. So, wait, 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 before you continue. Go ahead. Before you continue. Do I agree with Gordon's choice? No, I do not. I don't think it should have been Vinny going up because at the end of the day, Vinny remembered his bread. Even though he did burn his fish, he remembered his bread. Mm. At the end of the day, I think it should have been Cassie who went up for elimination. Wow. It should have been her. So I did not agree with Gordon's choice on putting Vinny up. It should have been Cassie. 
100% hands down. You know what? How how wasn't it her? <laughs> I'm so confused. Now, I'm look, I'm sitting here, I'm looking at the list, and I'm like, oh, wait, they're on the same team. How wasn't it her? I Like you said, I get, you know what? You know what it was? His, his fish had to be that bad for them to overlook that she had no bread. No bread. Because they literally said, like, well, Ramsey said, what saved you, Cassie, was your flavors. Mm -hmm. He literally, like, he had to make a disclaimer. Like, what saved you was your flavors. But honestly, I, and I get it, but I'm with you. On a technical level, kind of because yeah. Chef, Is this for sandwiches? Even, even Chef Blaze said it. He's like, it's good. It tastes good. Yeah, but is it really a sandwich to me? No, it's not. So I, okay, her flavors was, was good, but at the end of the day, she forgot her bread. So it should have been Cassie who went up in the elimination. Yeah, I agree. I definitely, I, I, I was thinking about that earlier. I'm glad you brought that up. To me, if you didn't bring bread or even attempt to make bread on your own, you you should automatically be thrown in. You're missing something. Yeah. The key element of your right. of your sandwich is the bread. So, one hundred percent, I do not agree with the two losers. I do agree with the one loser. <laughs> <laughs> so we're in agreement. I do believe Daryl. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh -huh. you forgot bread. You made bread, but it wasn't that good. In the overall and it could game. have been. It could have been if he would have executed that bread right. I think he would have been one of the tops. Yeah. And and this week, the the person that got saved was April, because if she was not on the same team as Nori, I'm pretty sure she would have been up there. She would have been up there too. It was she was yeah. she's a toss up that I would have. Yeah, I agree. Yes. I agree. Please, I but, agree. Um, so those were the two losers. We had um, Vinny and Daryl. They had to go into elimination where they faced off against each other. The dish they had to create for the elimination challenge was a spicy chicken sandwich. And my guys, I was shocked. Who won this? Because looking at it now, now going over the elimination, Daryl came in like, like Chris did in the first, <laughs> in the first half. I got this. <laughs> I mean, Daryl's from ATL. Chef or, Drama. Or, 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 or lives in ATL. I'm just Chef saying. Drama was bringing the drama to the elimination. And he was going hard. I'm thinking, I'm like, oh, he got this. Vinny was a little frazzled throughout. And I wrote this note that I got to say this. There was a part where they had to uh, fry up their, 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 their pieces of chicken that they choose for their sandwich. And Daryl took up three of the four fryers so Vinny couldn't cook it. <laughs> Yo, shout out to Chef Drama. He was like, Sorry. <laughs> Vinny looked news over. you lose. Vinny looked over like I gotta put more chicken on. He's like, he took up all the fryers. <laughs> oh gosh. Yo, I really thought I'll go and listen, looking through that competition. I'm like, yo, Daryl got this. And then when he took up the fryers, I said, Oh, he really got this. And then Vinny had to finish his chicken in the oven. Which sometimes you really don't want to do because you're not going to have that crispiness that you would with, with 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 oil, fried oil. So that elimination was funny. But I have a I have a few things to say. So yes, the theme for the elimination was spicy chicken sandwich. sandwich. Again, Daryl's plating was not great. I'm sorry to be a chef. Him off it didn't matter. I'm, I don't care. I'm judging him on plating, okay? It was horrible. Well, let me sip my tea. You sip it. It was horrible. To be a chef, I'm sorry. 
I, for you, a chef, I just have you on like a higher. You be professional, a professional chef is what you're saying. Wait, 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 what did I say? A chef? I'm sorry. A chef. Professional, a professional chef. Mm-hmm. I have you on a higher platform. Plating was horrible. Understand it was a competition. Y'all racing to the nines. I get it. Plating was horrible. Sorry. That was like strike one for me. Um, but yo, it was a tie. Yeah, that was that was dishes. that was the first the first time that happened this season, right? The other yes, yeah, because yes. it what really edged it out when it came down to what was in the title of the the dish: spicy chicken sandwich. Mm-hmm. Um, now again, Dale brought the the drama. Chef Drama brought the drama, but in the end, Vinny kept a even keel tone. He didn't let the the uh, situation take over, and he produced a spicy, tasty sandwich. Vinny came through in the clutch, and this is the man that you've been like really going for the last couple of uh, episodes. Um, a little was, bit, a little bit. Who, who who was down and out, and he he but he pulled it through. He did at, at the end of the competition, end of elimination. It came down to the spice, and Daryl's chicken just wasn't spicy. They said it wasn't bad. It just wasn't spicy. Yes, and that's why Naisha picked Vinny. Vinny. Over Daryl. Naisha picked Vinny. And sad enough to say that Daryl is gone. Gone. From the competition. Yep. Now, again, I've said this before. I'll say it again. We've been hard on Daryl these last few challenges. But to me, rightfully so, so. Because, look, he's a professional chef. His nickname is Chef Drama. So I'm thinking he's going to come with it. But it just seemed to me he just couldn't find his footing in this competition. I and think, again, this, Yeah, I think it just got the best of him, honestly. Not to say that he's not a great professional chef or anything like that. Yeah. I just honestly think that the competition got the best of him. And not everyone is good, you know, under that type of pressure. I don't yeah. think I would be good under that type of pressure. I said it before. I, I, I don't think they can get me on that show. Yeah. Oh. It'd be, I, ooh, I don't think I can ooh, do that. Ooh, yeah, so... But shout out to Daryl. We just want to say thank you for being on the show and all your antics. Uh, sorry you had to come to an end. Um, we do want to send a special shout out to you watching the show. If you guys watch the show, um, you know that he had a battle where he had kidney failure. Um, he had to get a, a kidney. What did you say it was, uh, Nita? A kidney implant. <laughs> no, a kidney <laughs> transplant. He had to get a kidney transplant. Um, and we know there's a lot of people sick that has multiple dozens of illnesses and they go through that transplant situation. And I'm just glad that he was able to make it out on the other side of that. Um, glad you're in good spirits and good health. Um, we definitely, we follow you on your uh, social media to see that you're doing good. So, Hey, shout out to chef Daryl this season. I wish I could have rooted for you a lot more. Hopefully we can get you on a podcast. Yes. Now, I will say, I do have a few people who y'all need to be watching out for. Early predictions. Let's go. Who we watching out for? And we kind of already touched on it. So definitely Chef Maureen. And I'm going to have to agree with Sir City on this. Nuri is somebody to definitely watch out for. That's my pick, man. That's my pick. He need yo, y'all better watch out for him. I already picked I ain't even gonna go over it. He already my pick for, to go all the way. Yeah. Um, but some sleepers, some to, to watch out for. Y'all need to watch out for Marine. And you need to watch out for, for Teeny Tiny. Marine and Teeny Tiny is It's they, Teeny. It's not no tiny. What if she tiny? don't like that? What if she don't like that? It's teeny. Teeny. Teeny search. Teeny. If teeny. y'all if y'all sleep on Marine, 
And here he here he go. Here he go. Here he go. I'm not gonna say teeny tiny. If y'all sleep on Marine and Tiny Teeny, y'all are are kidding yourselves. They they got some extreme. They are some good 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 talent. They 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 good. They're good. Them the Nuri, Teeny and um, Marine and Marine are the three y'all need to look out for. Um and don't but don't sleep on Chris. That's what I'll say. Those three have been consistent every week so far, but don't sleep on Chris. And there is one person I feel who will not last much longer. Oh, we might we might agree. I have I have first picked this person in the first episode to be a sleeper, but I am awake and I see them for who they are. April, I think you're next. I I agree. <laughs> I agree. I agree. I agree. I don't want to be mean, but this is. I agree. I, I'm starting to feel like this is the third episode, and the nerves are still there. No, like, it's 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 not just there, it's way there. Yeah. Like you forgot what meat you're working with. So yeah. yeah. Um I don't I thought maybe, you know, after a couple of episodes, a couple times doing it that okay, she's gonna find her footing, she's gonna start bringing that southern cooking, and it just doesn't seem to be there yet. So I yeah. don't see her her run long lasting too long yeah i agree i agree right. but as i digress this has been another episode of the food we watch podcast um before we get out of here i have two things i want to say i want to shout out real quick i want to shout out coco coco is a dear friend of mine she is a bartender at the bala inn in philadelphia bala bala uh, city off city line avenue the Bala Inn. Dope drinks, dope personality. If you are in the area, 5004 City Avenue, Philadelphia, PA, 19131. Definitely go Bala Inn, B A L A I N N, and go check her out. She is there um, from, you know, she told me her hour, so I want to make sure I get that. Um, she works Sundays. 12 p.m. to 7 p.m. Go check her out. Nita, before we go, before we get into where we can find you at, do you have any anything you just want to get off your chest or say before we go? Um, We are three episodes in. I'm having so much fun. Definitely some great things come. Y'all just got to stay tuned. Once again, search. Thank you again for the opportunity. I'm having fun. Yes, y'all. Um, before we go, before I go, I do have a shout out. This is just what I do because I can and nobody can tell me not to because we own this. So I'm going to talk for as long as I want. I want to give a special shout out to somebody that I follow, that I look up to in this podcast world oh oh i'm so appreciative <laughs> One person. <laughs> shout kidding. out to to nita because she definitely does her thing i'm kidding but i want to shout out kev on stage and kev on stage studios this weekend he won his first NAACP oh, for kev. as a content creator nice kev I have wow. followed wow. man right around the time he's just he had just stopped doing Periscope and started doing YouTube and he had those long thirty to fifty minute videos, um, all of all his ADD stuff, and then he started his Patreon where I follow his first podcast and then now his second. Here's the thing with Angel Latita Moore Kingsley Kingsley the actress and Joshy Gons. Um, I am a stage crew. Get it? Listen to this, guys. I am a part of the stage crew. I don't be in the comments like that. 
but I be paying my money and I've started since day one. Um, I have the Kev on stage app. Shout out to Miss Kev on stage. Shout out to everybody he works with. I just wanted to give him that shout out because I look up to Kev on stage. I've been following him for years and I've seen his transition from working to doing this full time. And it's just given me the fire. If it wasn't for Kev on stage, Nita, we wouldn't be doing this. Because if it wasn't for a search, I wouldn't be doing this. Yeah, and if it wasn't for him, if it wasn't for the love hour, if it wasn't for here's the thing, if it wasn't for the Patreon that 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 I this is what gets me through my day <laughs> while I'm working. This is what gets me through my day, which is everything Kevin on stage. So I just wanted to give him a shout out and say thank you and congratulations. Um, Keith Lee is up next, and next thing, and the next up after that will be. The Food We Watch podcast. We coming to the NAACP. We coming for the trophy. Hilarious. All right. This has been another episode of the Food We Watch podcast. Nita, where can they find you? They can find me on Instagram at Nita.foodphoto. And where can they find you, Search? If you want to hit me up personally, that is going to be at Search City, all platforms. And if you can't find me there, you'll always find me here on Normals Be Chefing, all platforms. Before we go, we just like to let you know that life can be hard. And we know how it goes. Good things come. Things come. Good, good things, things go. Life can be like a box of chocolate. That shit be melting.